Where do you see, where do you see it in like the next five years? I give it. I was about to say I give it to 2020 before things are totally, totally judged by that. And okay. that train line opens. That once that train line opens, it's open, open, open season for oh, everybody. Oh yeah, they, they got a second oh, avenue train line. Second yeah. avenue it's train line. It's going to open up on 2020. 2020. That's what I'm saying. 2020. So you, so so you, so you basically feel like by the time that train line is finished and complete, like they're going to yeah. already be in here and draw that already. But that's going to be. Yeah, that's gonna be that like yeah, the yeah. catalyst, right? Yeah, yo, cause yeah. every week, yo, you know I come to and show each other. There's a new building, and there's more. There's but more. You know what? There's more white people getting off the train. The East Side, Spanish Harlem, or that barrio, is a community located in Upper Manhattan, New York City. Since the end of the World War One, this has been one of the largest Latino communities in New York City and the country. Much like many of the urban areas which experience deindustrialization and white flight, this neighborhood has a demographic which was made up of mostly Puerto Ricans as well as an increasing number of Dominican, Mexican, and Salvadorian immigrants. East Harlem, throughout its history, has suffered uh, from many of the social and economic issues that many poor neighborhoods experience. This includes having one of the highest jobless rates in New York City, high levels of drug abuse, rampant crime, and high levels of teen pregnancy. It also had one of the highest rates in New York City in relation to HIV and AIDS infection. This area also has the second highest concentration of public housing in the entire United States, closely following the neighborhood of Brownsville, Brooklyn. There are currently 24 NYCHA developments, that's New York City uh, Housing Authority developments, located in East Harlem. Although this neighborhood has experienced its challenges, much like many other poverty-stricken areas throughout the city, East Harlem, much like many other sections of the city, has begun to experience an increase in property values and a renewed interest from developers and urban planners as an opportunity to capitalize on the ever-shrinking real estate market. The problem is that many people have been priced out of Brooklyn and most of Manhattan, so developers are always looking for the next hotbed of housing. In fact, in a February 2016 New York Times article classified East Harlem as one of the hot new neighborhoods, citing its housing stock, affordable rent, its access to public transportation, and even some of the, of the historical and cultural nuances of the neighborhood. And boy, based on some of the changes I've seen with my own eyes over the last calendar year per se, during my frequent trips to this neighborhood, that message did not fall on deaf ears. Being a resident of central Brooklyn for most of my life, I have seen the economic growth and revitalization in areas such as Crown Heights, Bedford Stuyvesant, and Bushwick. But it's been a slow and gradual process. But with East, with, with, uh, East Harlem, it's almost experienced hyper gentrification, meaning that the social and economic changes are occurring so swiftly. One has to wonder what the neighborhood will look like in the next calendar year, let alone the next five. In this documentary, I'll speak to longtime residents and gain their insight and experiences with gentrification uh, taking place in this community. I present to you El Barrio, No Se Vende, Buildings, Banks, and Buyouts. that they're doing all this now. Mm -hmm. East Harlem also has the most projects. Yep. Yeah. So I want to know what's going to go on with that. Like, but you notice know right there on, um, right by, uh, that they can't keep First the Avenue, yet. right there by First Avenue. Not, yeah, right there. They book, they building the big luxury building. Oh, 17th and First. 17th and First. used to be a school. Yeah. They, they tore the yeah, school now. That's going to be stupid. Supposedly they're going to be done with that like in two years.